Hey everybody, Sue's here from Revelation Quilts. I have a super fast and super easy project for you. If you're looking to just whip something up after that long lengthy quilt that you just made, this is a quick quilt. So for me, when I make a big project that takes a lot of time, but I still wanna sew something after I'm done, I just go to something real quick and easy. So this is the quilt for you. I can't wait to show you how it's made. For this project, I'm going to be use, using two charm packs of this cute fabric. It's called Bubble Up 5 Carat Gems by Wilmington. It's just got all these little bubbles on it and each one is a different color. And then they're just so cute. Yeah, so we're gonna be using these two of them. And so what I'm gonna do is I am just going to take all of them. They all get cut up the exact same way. So I have uh, two packs, which is 80. Let's see, yeah, I think there's 40. I can't see the label. There's either 40 or 42 in each pack. So I'm gonna cut them all up the same way. I'm gonna grab a couple at a time and I am just going to cut off a strip that is one and a half inches from the edge. So one and a half inches, and these have pinked edges, so I need to measure it first to see if the pinked edges go all the way to the edge of the, the top, the peak of the pink, pinked edge, or the valley of the pinked edge, and it looks like it's the valley. So I got a little bit of a leeway here. So I'm going to uh, cut one and a half inch strip off of every one. And I'm just going to put all of the strips, I'm gonna mix them up in a bag after I cut them. So one and a half inches. Put those in a pile and put those in a pile. And I'm just gonna keep going down the line and just taking as many as I'm comfortable cutting. Look how cute that is. That is so cute. One and a half inches. And just do this to your entire pile. And we're just gonna mix them all up. Doesn't matter which way they go. They can go this way, they can go this way. And I'm gonna love all of these colors together. And even though it's, they're all from the same charm pack, obviously, but we are gonna put them together in a random way. So it's going to be, it's gonna come out super cute and I'm excited to do it. And this is very easy. This is super beginner friendly. Anybody can, can do this and put this together. So here I am at my sewing machine. I have got my pile that I cut from and then I have got my bag of the one and a half inch strips just randomly all mixed up. And I'm going to pair these back together, but in a random way. So when I open my bag, I'm just going to blindly reach in and grab one and then grab um, a strip and I'm going to sew them back together. Super easy. Just line them up and give that a quarter inch seam. And just let it go. Just make sure it's all nice and lined up. And then when you press those, just press it to the smaller strip. And so we are just going to line all of these up. We're gonna sew them all the exact same way. Just make sure that you don't sew the same two colors together again. So we're just gonna sew them all up like that, all of them, until they're all paired up again. So that's super easy. So just sew away. Now, since we have sewn this little strip onto the side, this block now, instead of measuring five inches, it is going to measure four and a half inches. So we, this way, so we want it to also measure four and a half inches this way. So I, instead of just putting my four and a half inch line here and cutting this off, I'm going to cut a little bit off both sides 
and that will get rid of those pinked edges. So I'm just gonna take a line and line it up with my seam so it's nice and straight. And I make sure my four and a half line is four and a half inch line is on the inside of this block. And then I'm just gonna cut a little bit off of each side, flip it over, and again put a line right on that seam line my four and a half inch line up here and then I can cut this side off and now my block measures four and a half inches square. Now when we put these up on our design wall we are going to arrange them the the top left one is going to be put so that the the strip is at the bottom and then the next one we are going to lay this way so the strips will always be on the inside of this four patch that we are going to make and so the strips will kind of make a little pinwheel as you can see and if you need to switch your colors around you can switch your colors around a little bit and we'll do it like this so that gives these strips like a little pinwheel effect or like a windmill, if that makes sense. So we are going to sew these together like a four patch. I'm going to go sew these together real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. This is the four patch all sewn together. It looks really cute. I love the way the colors kind of come together and the bubbles and the pattern in the, in the fabric just kind of I don't know, it makes it look very cool. So you're gonna do this to all of your squares. And this, these charm squares, there were 42 in the pack. So I'm gonna end up with an extra one of these when I put it on my wall. And I usually make a mug rug or something out of some of my orphan blocks. But let's look at the design wall and see all of them up there. So here's the finished quilt. I'm calling this confetti because the fabric in here just looks like tons of different colors of confetti. I love it. I love the way the pattern in the fabric kind of makes different lines and designs. I love it. I ended up adding two borders to this. I added a two inch purple border and then a four inch green border. And I think it just brings out those colors so nicely. I'm also going to do a flange binding on this and I'm going to uh, show you how to do a flange binding in my next video. So maybe by the time that you make this quilt, that video will be out and you can do the flange binding with me. So it, the whole quilt measures 51 by 43. So it's a great wall hanging size, a great baby quilt size. And the best part about this quilt is that it went together super fast, so fast. And so this is, if you just need a quick project, this is the one to go to. As you saw, it was super easy to make and the results are pretty stunning. So I hope you decide to make this. And if you do, I'd love to see the final results of your quilt and what yours looks like. So thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out a lot. And I look forward to hearing about your quilt. Thank you so much for watching.